So I noticed my video got cut short. Oops, um, I didn't mean to um, keep going and then I didn't record. So what I think I missed, I know that I had told you what I put in the tank um, is two drops of the bathroom cleaner, which that's what I did just now, but um, I do it every two weeks. And then I drop in the microfiber cleaner, the microfiber and booster cleaner. Um, I didn't bring the actual can that it comes in or the um, container. Um, it's downstairs in the laundry room, but I just sprinkle some of this and then it keeps the tank. It doesn't have a scent, but it's, I don't know if this makes sense. It smells clean to me. It just doesn't have a scent. It's clean. It's fresh. So anyways, this is what I use to maintain the tank, the water tank. Now, what I also did is I did a video of how I test uh, to see if there's still bacteria after I clean with the Norwex microfiber. I'll post that also, but I wanted to at least show you that I use these things right here. But initially, the descaler with this uh, the Spiri sponge, I think that's what it's called. I'll correct it in the video if uh, or in the Facebook post I post. Um, I'll correct it if it's incorrect, but this is what I use. And then last thing I have to do is clean the actual inside of the toilet. So that I haven't done yet. So let me show you. So for this video, I'll use this toilet cleaner. Um, it just hangs to dry once you use it. So it's not going to get all the nasty. It's you know, it, it just self purifies. It has backlock also, and it'll actually tell you somewhere. I forgot where it says it. I know it's uh, got backlock. So, meaning it self purifies. So, once you clean and you know, you hang it to dry, then it's, it's not going to get moldy and smelly and yucky like the other toilet bowl cleaners. Let me see where it is. Let me show you. Oh, here it is. So, there's the bathroom cleaner that I showed you that I put into the toilet uh, tank. And then now I'm just going to drop some underneath the toilet bowl. You don't need to use a lot, but... So that's what I do to clean the inside of the toilet. Also in another video, I'll show you this other uh, toilet cleaner that we use that we have for Norwex. Also, backlock, self-purifies, but this one's pretty cool. And I think, um, you can barely see it, but the, you can put the uh, bathroom cleaner here, or any cleaner that's not gel. Um, but as long as it's, I, I recommend Norwex, but anyways, um, you could put the cleaner in here. And then again, it'll self-purify. Um, you could just rinse it, the the um, ceramic, um, I forgot what it's called, but anyways, this thing, oh, someday I'll know the words. <laughs> anyways, so for right now, I don't want to use this, uh, it'll be a different video, but for this bathroom, I use this one. So since I already put in the bathroom cleaner, I'm just going to start cleaning. It has a little lip here that can go underneath the, the, uh, Toilet ring. I don't know what it's called, but anyway, just around the toilet. It's really sturdy. I love it. It's really easy to use. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I'll show you. But there's a ring around the, the toilet. Well, I've been working on that. That's why I started doing the um, little hacks that I've learned um, using the bathroom cleaner, also using the uh, descaler to clean it initially, the micro uh, booster. So hopefully these things help. Um, I also ordered from Norwex the magnetic ball that's supposed to help with hard water. I haven't received it yet, but once I do get it, I'm going to put it in the tank.
would just hang it. You can rinse it if you want, but you just hang it to dry. That's all you have to do. It's not touching the bottom of the, the holder. So. Oops. Popped it. But anyways. Um, then I'm going to flush it, but I want to show you up close. I always have issues with these cameras. Okay. So you'll see it's pretty clean. I'm going to flush it. <laughs> You see the ring it used to be worse so I'm kind of happy with that because it's getting better and last oh am I messing up the video okay hold on so I don't know if you have boys in your house <laughs> or people that come over that just don't know how to you know aim <laughs> I mean, maybe girls do too. Rick says, oh, why is it me? My husband. Um, but okay. I don't think I pee standing up. But anyways, point is, I use the mattress cleaner because it's an enzyme-based um, cleaner. Let me read it. It removes organic material from mattresses, bedding, upholstery. It's a probiotic-powered formula, biodegradable. No optical brighteners, added fragrances, SLS, SLES, parabens, phosphates. Anyway, so what I do is I use this um, to clean like any possible urine. You can use the bathroom cleaner though. So it's not like you have to use this, but I like to use this after I spray my mattress, you know, and my pillows. So that was a hack that I learned that you can use the mattress cleaner. It does help. So I'm going to spray it on the floor. I think I sprayed a little too much, but you didn't need to put a lot, but. And I already hung to dry my Enviro cloth, but I'll grab it so I could use it. So they hang it to dry, I already rinsed it. I don't know, it's such a weird, awkward position, but let's see. So I'm gonna fold it again. I already rinsed it, um, so it's already kinda ready to use. So what I'm going to do, get on the floor. Oh, come on, drop my phone. Okay, hold on. Okay. So, it's cleaning it. You could do the baseboards, you know, maybe the wall if you're in splashes. Anyways, so. My toilet is clean. <laughs>